The price of furnace oil has more than doubled over the past five years. That means the average homeowner is paying thousands of dollars extra per year just to stay cozy in our scenic, but rather frigid winters here in Newfoundland. Because of that, homeowners all over are making the change to electric HVAC. But how do you know what kind of changes that your home needs? I mean, where do you even start? Your first step should be what's called a home energy audit. Learning about your home's energy efficiency as it currently stands is crucial. It'll give you the information you need to pick and choose the right upgrades for your unique situation. Today, we're gonna bring in a family who is beginning to make the change over to electric, and we're gonna set them up with Josh, the CEO of Misa, and someone who is trained as a home energy auditor. We're gonna take the family and you through the process of the home energy audit, breaking it down into an easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. Hi, I'm Sarah Bishop and this is my husband Grant. We live here in Newfoundland, just outside the main city with our daughter Maddie and our dog Molly and baby number two is on the way. Me and the family just moved home from Australia about 18 months ago where I was on for three years uh, in Melbourne with a contract with work. Uh, we're both from Newfoundland uh, originally and uh, moved just before the pandemic. And we're just settling back into life here in Newfoundland and we're excited to do some upgrades to our home. Hi, my name is Josh Green. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Misa. While we're well known for our smart thermostats, our goal for fighting climate change actually came out of my first career path, which was as a home energy auditor. Today, I'm going back to my roots to work with Grant and Sarah on how they can make their home more energy efficient and move to a home in an all-electric future. You touched on the cost of living and home heating costs. Maybe you can tell me a little bit more about uh, what you've experienced. Our first winter back home when we saw the price of oil, I think we were both pretty taken aback and we were ready to make those changes definitely sooner rather than later. I do know that I love a warm, cozy house. We were shocked last year at the cost of oil and even this year, it's late October and we've already had to have our oil tank filled twice. I the main thing last year is we spent just over $6,000 last year just to heat the home. So that's just an oil expense. On top of that, obviously there's electricity, um, which you know averages for us around anywhere from 100 to 120 dollars a month. From a energy efficiency and electrification perspective, it sounds like you've done a lot of research already. You've got some ideas on how you can make the home consume less energy, and then also shift your heating system from an oil system over to electric. Uh, we can do an energy audit here today to see how we can find ways to save even more energy. So Grant, a great spot to look for is on exterior doors and looking at the weather stripping specifically. So this is your door to your back patio here. And so I'm just noticing, oh yeah, this is uh, some weather stripping that appears to have been damaged um, and it is not kind of creating a good seal between the door and the door stop. So it's a great idea to replace this uh, door weather stripping to make sure that you have a really great seal there against the door stop. So another thing to look for is any wall openings. So look, you're looking for places where there's some wires or cables or even some piping that might be going from the inside to outside. Um, so I think you told me that you found a spot that needed some air sealing. We did identify um, that the area around the, uh, the tailpipe for the furnace did seem like it was getting a lot of draft. Mm. Uh, so we did go out and get some uh, flame retardant caulking from a hardware store. And was able, we were able to seal that out uh, ourselves without getting any kind of external assistance, which was great in terms of uh, from a, a home and, and draft perspective, it kind of cleaned it up pretty good. That's great. Uh, doing air sealing like that is some of the most easy and affordable uh, energy efficiency upgrades you can do to your home. So it's important to look at all the different levels of insulation in the various places in your house. So we're, we're down in your crawl space and, and you had said that there was previously a small amount of insulation here and then you went upgrade it. So maybe just tell me uh, about that. So this is a, a warm area because the furnace is also down here. So one of the things we did look at and what we did is we doubled up this crawl space 
uh, both of uh, the, the walls and into the rim joists themselves uh, and then closed up all the outside air gaps, uh, which has uh, really sealed this place in and, and helped in terms of the, the main floor and keeping the, the heat kind of in the home from the main floor. That's exactly right, because without that, heat would come down through this main floor here and then out through the uh, exterior basement wall. So by insulating these, not only do you keep this space more warm and dry, you're doing the same thing about reducing the heat load from your first floor right above us. Tell me a little bit about uh, your attic and did you do any work to upgrade the insulation there? Uh, when we when I did get up there, once we did purchase the home, um, it, it was very much, uh, you know, 90 space uh, regulations from a from an insulation point of view. So, um, and it is a vaulted ceiling. So some of that insulation has moved around quite a bit from, right. when, from when it was actually built. So we have doubled up that uh, blown in insulation up, uh, up there, which uh, the hope is to kind of keep that, keep the heat down. That's awesome. Yeah, so not only did you upgrade, upgrade the attic insulation, you didn't forget about the attic hatch that a lot of people do. So uh, great job to you. Thanks. It's obvious that you guys have already taken a lot of great steps to making your home more energy efficient and saving on energy. The next step is the big one uh, that everyone loves is the heating and cooling system. So you have an oil furnace today and you want it to move to an electric system. One of the first steps that you took was upgrading your electrical panel from a 200 amp service to a 400 amp service to make sure that you had space and room available. And so what we're going to recommend for you guys is a heat pump system. So not only is this heat pump system going to make you feel a lot more cozy and comfortable in your home, you guys are going to save a lot on energy costs. You're going to completely do away with your oil bills and have a very affordable electricity bill by your heat pump. And then the other great news is there's lots of grants in place. The Canada Greener Homes Grant is going to be able to help lower the price of the installation of that heat pump. More Let's money to go. spend on groceries. <laughs> yeah. Once your home energy audit is complete, you are well on your way to a more cozy and sustainable heating solution. But this is just the beginning. On the next episode of Your Empowered Home, we'll tackle one of the biggest questions that every homeowner has. What do you look for in a contractor? Thanks for watching.